What's up guys, Joe here at Performance Auto Solutions. Uh, some of you may know, a lot of you don't know. This is also Pat. <laughs> See that he's standing next to me. Uh, it's, it's Pat Pierre. Oh man. In the flesh. Uh, some of you may know that I bought a 91 240SX. Now this, this car itself has a lot of uh, history for us. Uh, Colin and Troy actually first picked it up uh, for Troy. I think he paid too much money for it. Oh, there it is, yeah. Thank you, Pat. Uh, and then Troy had swapped the engine because that head gasket problem. And then Frank bought it, and then Frank sold it after two drift events. Basically, uh, it went full circle. It, it went full circle. But then it went to Queens, uh, then it went to Huntington, then my friend Joey traded a blown up quad for it. And he was like, hey, do you know this car? And I was like, yeah, we know this car. Anyway, long story short, I've been tinkering with it, not that I'm so familiar with 240SXs, and I think it's a good opportunity for everyone to kind of get an idea of what I'm doing, all right? I mean, that's kind of the whole thing. So, so it's got, got a dual overhead cam KA from like a 95. It's, it was smoking at high RPMs. Still might be, but it had a pretty severe oil leak. See that over here. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna take care of today. I'm gonna do the valve cover gasket. Um, I've already... Both my fingers are like... I've already uh, dyed the floor with clothing dye. Black. Fresh. Um, I put this shell knob in. Super drifty things, you know. <laughs> shift boot, clean I it up. I got a shift boot. Um, the fun fact, this shift boot required a bezel uh, that I couldn't find uh, anywhere. Because I guess, you know, car sucks, it's old, right? It's a 91. Yeah. But I bought one on eBay that was 3D printed and I thought that was super cool, which has really inspired us to get a 3D printer because it's definitely something we can do. For sure, for sure. Don't forget uh, the Itachi fucking I got I got new hardware uh, because when Frank owned it, he put some some pretty Eight beat. <laughs> <laughs> I think every every bolt in it was a different length. Uh, it had a different cap on it. Some were socket head, uh, some were not. And then uh, I put these floor mats and These are really nice. This is probably the most money I've spent this far. Uh, I think they were 70 bucks. 70 bucks on eBay. I'll put, I'll put a, a link in the comments for the ones that I bought. These are the checkerboard. Uh, black and gray ones. So what are we doing today? So what we're doing today is the valve cover gasket. Like I said before, we got to take care of that oil leak before anything, right? Because you know everyone just likes to pull my car out in the morning and do sweet burn. Don't be scared. Everyone up as high as you want. the Fel Pro uh, valve cover gasket and it comes with a spark plug tube seal. So we're gonna take care of that tonight. Where's our hockey stick so we can prop this thing up? Yeah, where is the hockey stick? Hold that, I'll find the hockey stick. <laughs> I think it's over here. I saw it the other night because I was wielding it. So we can't find the hockey stick, but Pat found a very nice alternative, a pipe. <laughs> <laughs> Right, it's like it was made for it, right there. So yeah, yeah, sure, go ahead and put a purple in the hood. That works too. Thanks. Sorry. So, yeah, I've never done this before and we're gonna do it today. We'll start with this, the Velcro. Pat, let's open it up and see what's in there. Okay, well, look at his gloves. How are you gonna like come at me like that, bro? He's very stylish. <laughs> Calling me out like that. I can't even open this. Just have... open it. But it's taped, I have no nails. It's serrated. Where? On the side, so the whole side is serrated. Isn't it? Right here, it's right there. Oh, I am the suck. Oh. What? He doesn't know his own strength. I guess not. <laughs> that was a lot of strength for no reason. Ooh. <laughs> it's it's blue? It. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't know it was blue. I don't know if I like the fact that it's blue. It's been in a, like a, but it's like a but it's bag but it's just blue. Like it's loose. Right. Capel Pro, don't stop making valve cover gaskets blue. It's not becoming. Great. But meanwhile, he does this. Nobody grabbed that from you. I'm out here setting up my drift wheels. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Okay. So this is just chaos right now. I don't know who had it before me, but they just demolished these things. Like, I'll show you the other set back there. These, what, what, what the, what, what, who was, what were you thinking, my friend? Like, oh, don't mind these, but mind this. This is just crazy. I don't know what's going on, but nonetheless, we're gonna get this done today, at least painted white. I should've got them sandblasted, but I didn't want to spend the money because they're going on my drift car and they're not gonna be 
anything special. They're not like work VSK apps or something like that. So let's see what we can do. I'm gonna have to like soapy spray wash these things and scuff them a little more. I already stopped earlier, but I'm done yet. So me and him are tag teaming this effort today and I'll keep you in the loop. Meanwhile. Oh, no, man. I'm not ready. I mean, I guess this is this pretty very simply you take it off. But I didn't know if there was like a pro tip or something. I mean, from what I've seen from Collins SR, basically it's like spark plugs. Un unbolt it. Yeah, coils, plugs. No, you just plug it. Take out the coil packs. Right. And then just one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Look nice and slowly. And that's about yeah, it. Take off that ground in that corner over there. Yeah, that little turd. And it seems easy peasy. One. From what I can see. Two. Three. Four. Okay. Let's get those to the side. How many had uh all the tools up there, right? I have not I have used none of his tools right now. Zero. Just some, just some scuff packs, that's all. These are Colin's tools. He loves when we use them. He really just loves that we're getting our hands dirty. And loses his stuff everywhere. <laughs> so uh, there's gotta be like a torque pattern for this, right? To like put it back down. Most likely. Or we just do it the old fashioned way and just right, cross. That too. What is this bolt? We need like a little bucket. Oh, what a bucket? What do I need a bucket for? To hold your bolts, bro. He needs a, he, the man needs a bucket. He doesn't want a bucket. And I came for the bucket, and I can't find the bucket. Uh, you mind light too? Yes. I'll bring you the light. Where's Colin's magnetic bucket thing? Does he even have one? Jermaine has one. Oh, the, the bolt tray thing? Yeah. It's a light, bro. I it's forgot, this hood is steel, and my <laughs> SDI one isn't. <laughs> we'll catch up with you guys when he takes his cover off and see what damage is done underneath. <laughs> All of this mayhem right here. 12 seconds later. So I got the valve cover off, so it was honestly super easy. Um, it was nine bolts and then two in the middle, so 11 total. Um, I could totally see why it was leaking, I guess, when they swapped this engine before I had had it, because between uh, the person in Queens who had it and then the other person, whoever Joey got it from, swapped the engine. Um, looks like they painted this timing chain cover and then just didn't clean the surface very well. And, like, you could still see that there's some, like, gasket sealer in there. Anyway, I'm going to FaceTime Colin to see if he has any pro tips. He's more familiar with these than I am. Um, let's see if he answers. He probably won't answer. He actually never answers, but... You know, we could get lucky. Didn't answer. I put everyone by their first name in their cards. I've been doing it for years, so I remember them. Uh, let's see if he answers my FaceTime. I don't think he's gonna answer. I'm trying to FaceTime him, but I tried to call first. He didn't, it's not that he hit, you know, the FU button, he just didn't answer so uh yeah there's there's that let's uh what do you do? replace it i'm gonna i'm gonna call the, the next most person that i know who's an expert in things frank no <laughs> definitely not frank <laughs> let's call jermaine and hours later hello no he didn't answer all right so <laughs> we're on our own nevertheless i'm going to clean up this over spray, which is probably preventing the gasket from sealing. And then this gasket sealer in here, this old shit. You mm -hmm. see it's orange. Yeah. That's probably not helping it seal at all. All right, so there's that. Until then. Oh, let me do the thing, let me do the thing. He wants to do the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Show you out right there. I said one, he did twice.